Hey guys and welcome back to Schneids 15. If uh, you're watching this video, you are here for part two of the Chinese carburetor on a King Quad 300. Uh, so today I'm just gonna take this carb that we have right here and we're gonna we're gonna install it on the ATV. So uh, I'm not gonna do a full video on it because it takes forever to film that all, but I'll give you just a uh, rough uh, idea of how to put it on but uh, if you want to know the procedure of how to put it on and take it off watch my carburetor clean video I'll put a link in the description and that'll show the whole procedure of it and uh, I took time and did a detailed video on it on that video so uh, we're gonna just uh, take the seat off here and uh, rip the old carb off and start putting the new one on and just go through the basics of the differences but otherwise uh, we're good to go and uh, let's get to it. Alright, so we're off. Here's the difference between the two carbs. That's the genuine Makuni, and here is the other one. There's a side by side of it. They look damn near identical, guys. Uh, obviously, the one's a lot cleaner, but they look really, really good. So everything's pretty well identical, um, but yeah, we're gonna take this out, our uh, choke there, so we can uh, put that, or we can put our plastic one in there, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna start to throw it on here quick, and uh, we'll let you know what the results are. I'm excited. All right, so first issue I've found is that your throttle inlet right here on your genuine one isn't threaded on this one. It's threaded right there, uh, so you you won't be able to uh, slide your throttle in there because it's meant to thread on. So we're just going to drill that out a little bit bigger. I think this is a Polaris design because they use these similar carburetors. Uh, so we're just going to drill it out so it just, just drill the threads out and it'll fit fine. And uh, then we'll get to attaching her. So our next issue we ran into was the plastic on our factory choke here was bigger than the brass one they give you, the threads were. So uh, we're going to have to use this one and we're just going to take our, uh, we're going to have to take a drill bit and drill in here a bit to, to mimic this one. So that's what we're going to do now, drill that out, shove it in and we can still use our rubber piece that goes over top. I'll show you here in a second. All right, so we're all adapted up here. So you can see I even put this rubber piece on here. Oh, there's my choke plunger gone. Anyways, it's right there. But uh, yeah, you just, I got adapted to that, your spring and then your plunger. So we're gonna thread that in now, put our side plate on, um, hook up our fuel lines and stuff, and then we're gonna get ready to start it up. So we're bolted up in there. Make sure you put on your intake boot or they will run lean. Uh, we're going to turn this over and get it running a bit and see how it runs, see how our idle is and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're just going to clean up here, um, just throw our seat on and get it outside to run it. But uh, yeah, so far we're bolted on. We'll see uh, how it runs, if it's a win or a fail.
right guys so I, by that video you can see it's probably a fail I would say uh, this thing is leaking out the bottom I can't get it to stop uh, yeah nothing's working right the choke still connect it but I can't get it to work right at all so uh, I think we're gonna put this as a fail if you're looking for a direct I'm sure like I did take it down the driveway and back and it seemed to work all right once I got going but as for now if you're looking for a bolt up carburetor for one of these things uh, that you can just directly bolt on and go without any real expertise I would not recommend one of these things I mean if I mess around with this and maybe drill it and tap it out bigger to accommodate the plastic Suzuki one it might be better uh, and I might mess around with that but as far as the leaking I've already loosened the drain screw uh, and I still can't get it to stop so I've loosened it tightened it done a bunch of stuff and I can't get it to work so I would say uh, that's my review on the carburetor we're gonna pull this off and put the Makuni back on and uh, We'll let you know how it runs there and we'll finish off the video. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. That's a Chinese carburetor on a King Quad. I'll uh, let you guys think of uh, what you want by what I got for results, but uh, I did get it to work to mess around with, but uh, I didn't really want to mess around with it too much because I do use this thing. So I put the Makuni back on it, and as you can see from that last clip, it runs a lot better with the Makuni on it. And uh, yeah, it's 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 got some minor flaws I may mess around with it in the future and see if I can and adapt that choke to fit a little bit better and stuff but uh, for now we're gonna put that as a fail if you're looking for a direct bolt up carburetor that you can bolt on instead of spending $20 on a rebuild kit you spend $80 on a carburetor and bolt it on if you're not mechanical uh, I would not recommend buying this so anyways uh, I did benefit from it because I got a side cover for my carb which I didn't have before and a couple other little things but I mean the thing leaked and it just wasn't a good carb so uh, but that will uh, finish up our video I hope this answered a lot of your questions because I had uh, probably close to 50 people ask me about what these Chinese carburetors and all uh, all stuff to do with carburetors probably a couple hundred people all together with that so uh, hopefully this answers all your questions and uh, if you like the channel please give me a rating and subscribe as always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.